What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. First off, wanted to thank everyone who subscribed. Just crossed a thousand subscribers recently. Sorry for the wait. Let's get right into it. So this code is going to allow us to um, create an email and send multiple attachments with it. So let's start off with our code. We'll call this sub send multi attach and we'll first declare our variables so we're gonna have out app as an object and then out mail as an object and also um, the string of our body we'll call it str body as string and then we'll set out app equal to create object and then we'll be opening the Outlook application to send our email and we'll set outmail equal to our app create item the zero alright so our string body our body of our email let's First, we'll uh, determine what our font's gonna look like. So we'll do body style, font size. Let's go with 14. And then our font family, we'll go with Arial. And in order to continue on to the next line so I don't run out of space, I'll just use an ampersand and an underscore to go to the next line. And we're just gonna say, hi team. And then in order to skip two lines, I'll just do a paragraph break. And we'll say, today's report has been completed. Please see attached. Oh, actually, I should, we're doing multiple attachments. So let's say today's reports have been completed. Okay. And then I'll do another paragraph break. And then we'll continue on to the next line. Oops. One second. So yeah, ampersand and underscore. And then we'll say, I'll say best regards. And then I'll just do a regular break to go to the next line and then put my name, Greg. All right, so that's the body of our email. And then I'll use on error, resume next. And without mail, we're gonna send this to um, some made up email address so team at abc.com and then we'll CC no one will BCC no one and the subject will be daily reports space and then we'll include today's date so all we have to do is just type format date and then we'll use this format month slash day slash year year all right so then we'll click display so that we can look at the email before it gets sent out so now we'll do HTML body equals our str body the string body up here And then ht dot html body again, and then here's where we're gonna we're gonna attach our files. So we'll do attachments add, and 
and <clears throat> we'll use files from this folder here. So as you can see, these files are in this PC, Documents, Test. So I'll go ahead and right click. And I'll paste. And the file here, we'll, we'll grab the PDF first, so daily report dot PDF. And then we'll also, we'll just copy this line. And also grab the regular XLSX. So then after that, we'll end our width. And then on error, go to zero. And then we'll set outmail equal to nothing. And then we'll also set out app equal to nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and run this macro. So what we're expecting is to see this email with um, two of these files in here attached. Okay, so there's an issue here. We've got one file attached, not two. And it looks like the issue is this daily report is not an XLXS, but an XLSM. It's a macro enabled worksheet. So we just change this to an M. And now we have both files in our email. And you see it's um, being sent to team at abc.com. And it has our, uh, our message. Hi team, today's reports have been completed. Please see attached. Best regards, Greg. All right, so if you want to send these files based on a cell value, we can just put our file names in our workbook. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add this World Cities document as well. So this world cities document is just a regular Excel sheet. So we'll use Excel SX. And now we'll just add another attachment. And to grab that last file, I can type this workbook, sheets. And then I want the sheet name. This is called sheet two, but I can change this. Let's call it a list of files. And then <clears throat> the cell that I want for that last world cities is going to be three one. So, oops, three one. So down three and then one so you can think of them like, like coordinates instead of x y it's like y x so three one will grab this cell here press play and that didn't work so what's the issue we need to type dot text that grabs the text there so now we have all of our files here And we can change each one of these as well. If you wanted to use only the uh, Excel file to grab each file, so we would do one one and then two one. So if I press play again, it'll grab all three of these file locations. So these three files will be there. So I press play, and there we go. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.